Hello, my lovelies. Uh, you're getting this weirdly out of order. This was supposed to be on Tuesday, my new torn tries. Uh, if you would like to know why it's out of order, stay tuned at the end. So anybody coming here just to see how this goes can watch that and doesn't have to deal with my babbling if they don't feel like it. However, this still torn tries. Uh -huh. A new hair cutting method. So you guys know I've been cutting my hair with phase method, uh, which is multiple steps, but works great. So one of you, please, please, I apologize in advance because I can't remember who told me. I know it was on one of my fairly recent videos and I scrolled, but I couldn't find it because brain, I should have written it down. Any hoodles, you know who you are and please identify yourself in the comments because I remembered how to go about this, even if I don't remember exactly who told me how to do this. But basically, it's phase method is many steps. And uh, one of you beautiful, wonderful ladies out there told me about a self-cutting method that is way less steps that'll still give me the U-shaped hemline that I like. Um, you guys know I did blunt for years, but I just kind of like the U. I just, that's my preference and that's fine. So. I need a haircut. Um, you're on this side, and even then, you still can't see the ends of my hair. This is all the bathroom I have. Um, I will tilt you down a little bit, but even when I'm tilted down, in frame, I still have inches out. But I am currently fingertip length, about an inch past, uh, which is too long for me. I prefer classic. That is what I like. So we're losing four to six inches today. Um, I'm going to start with four because in case this doesn't work or I mess it up, that way I can go to phase and fix it because I know I can do that one right. But this is very similar to phase, just a lot less steps. So let's get started. Uh, I need two ponytail holders. Now some of you may only need one depending on the length of your hair. I'm going with two because I have a lot of length. So what I'm going to do, uh, I washed my hair today and I flat brushed it. <laughs> I love that thing. Um, because I do like to wear my hair straight sometimes. So I'm going with my natural part. Usually I would part it right in the middle, but when I wear my hair down, I don't wear my hair parted in the middle. I leave it slightly askew because that's where my hair likes to part. So it's like a fraction off the middle. My natural part, you guys, it goes with my cowlick. So what you want to do is, you know, you take your natural part, you go down, you part your hair in half. Now, even though it's parted there in the front, I am going to part it more towards the center in the back. Um, and you bring it around on both sides like so. Um, like I said, I will tilt you down. I should probably tilt you down now, right? So we can see what I'm doing. But my hair is fairly straight today because I straightened it. Let me, ooh, maybe we can actually see the ends for a change. Look, look, no, they're still slightly <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help. This is what I got to work with. I'm so sorry, you guys. So, uh, cause my last one, you couldn't see anything cause we did it in the mirror. I could see, but you couldn't. It was terrible, but I think you still got the gist. So make sure we're tangle free. And what we're gonna do is use a hair tie and tie this up under our chin. All righty. That actually feels fairly even on both sides, which means I did a fairly decent job. So we're gonna tie this. I'm gonna use a burly band tie it taut against my chin and then I'm going to add another one underneath of it so I can slide it down um, so I can do the ends and this should give us a u-shaped hemline now usually I only go twice but I did three times with my burly band barely made it all right that looks even okay make sure Always, you gotta make sure you're tangle free because look, there's one. Um, doo, 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 doo. Fairy knots. I've got a couple of fairy knots. It's autumn. It's winter. Getting close to winter. That is when my hair fairy knots like crazy. Okay. 
I've got that. So I'm going to add this second hair tie up under here. Keep this all nice and smooth. And we'll do that one three times. Might want to do that one a fourth, but now what I'm going to do is slide this down to where I want to cut. So try and keep it nice, even motion. Oh, let's try again. I need to do it four times. I need it to be real tight. This is why we try. Okay. One, two, because of course, as it gets towards the end of my hair, it's thinner down there. Oh, oh, can I even get the fourth up this high? Oh, yes. Just, well, that one will officially be stretched out. Okay. Now, try and keep it even as we go down. It's still looking even. Yes. Now you guys can see better. See? We're going down evenly. I can't see myself in the mirror. That looks good. So, this is what I'm cutting off. Now, how do my ends actually look? Let's see. Good, actually. I don't even notice. Well, it'd be one or two splits. But they look pretty decent. But it doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm sitting on it and that makes me mad. So, this is all tied off and I'm gonna cut this off. This is just a pair of scissors I bought. They are hair scissors though, Siobhan. They're not crappy paper scissors. <laughs> I got them at Walmart. <laughs> oh, what brand are they? They are stainless steel, they're Conairs. They're for hair. Um, and yes, it does actually make a difference. I really didn't think it did. So, I am now going to pull these up and cut across. Do, do, do. Can you see me? You can see me. All righty. Cut that off, cut that off. We'll cut it off first and then we'll worry about getting it kind of straightening it up a little bit. We want it to look decently straight here. And then, hypothetically, when we let it down, it should be a U shape and should look nice and neat. Yes? Okay, I'll show you how this looks once I get it to where it looks decently straight. I always find the sides to be difficult to make perfectly straight. Well, it's not perfectly straight, but I'll show you so you can see. We're not, we're not what I'd call perfectly straight. We're a little, but that's okay. I think I can clean that up or I'll have Joe clean that up. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we get the U-shaped hem like I want. <gasps> Take everything down. I'm gonna give it a brush. And then I'm gonna look. Already it's better. Why? Because nothing is catching on my ends. That's the one nice thing about a fresh trim. Uh, no Velcro ends. All right. Now, maybe you guys here, you guys will see it before me. I want to definitely put you down, so you should definitely be able to see the ends of my hair. How does it look, guys? Is it U-shaped? Does it look good? Huh? Does it look good? Okay, I'm going to look now. It is U-shaped. Now, I do see, I have to clean up a little bit. I see a few little stragglers, but that looks pretty good. And that was a lot less steps. Now, you guys are probably wondering, oh, here you go. How, you see, you see? How do we clean up, there we go. How do we clean up the little stragglers at the bottom? Well, this is what I do. I don't know if it's correct, <laughs> but it's what I do. I just pull them back around the front now that they've had some time to wish around back there, right? Hi. And now you can see which ones are sort of sticking up all willy-nilly. 
So I just trim those off. To do, to do, to you again. See, you've got some stuff. All right. Now we will do this again. Like I said, this is for me. I'm gonna put it in a pony behind my head. Like so. And now you can't see what I'm doing up top. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways. Now, this is this is just bedding cleanup. So I got a pony behind my head. Like so. I'm gonna pull down until I can reach it. Da, 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 da. Try and keep it even. Yeah. Feels really even. I'm gonna pull it around to the front. And just double check. And here, I can see where I'm a, a little whacked on the one side, which I knew I was. Which is no big deal. And now, I shall even up. Do, 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 do. Even up. Even up. Alright. Let's take another look. Should feel better. How are we looking now? Oh, now we look good. We've got our U-shaped hem. And it is fairly even. I see a few little bits right in the middle, but I'll have my husband trim those up for me around the bottom. Most of you probably have somebody you trust that will trim up a few of those stragglers. It's hard because when you bring it around to the front, they of course change positions. Anya, so, but, yay, we're back to classic. Am I classic again? Do, 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 just exactly a classic. So, all of this ooh, is gone. Does mean that my buns aren't gonna tuck correctly for just a little while, <laughs> as is the case. But, listen, no gravity at the bottom. Woot! I already feel better. I hate it when the ends get grabby. Velcro ends are the devil. Alrighty, so uh, there was a snippet there because I was giving way too much information away that you guys didn't need to know. Needless to say, I have a family emergency and I need to go home. So uh, rather than be back next week, uh, it'll probably be the week after because I'm gonna need to be home for about a week, give or take. Uh, somebody in my family uh, is having surgery and needs my help. Um, and since I have been cleared from my doctor, I can actually do this, and I plan to. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Um, give your hair a trim if you're due for it. This worked great and was a lot less steps and a lot quicker. Um, I am stoked to not have Velcro ends. Yay! <laughs> Even though I just lost six inches of hair, that's okay, because I had to lose. Uh, my hair was entirely too long. So. I love you guys, and I will see you very, very soon, uh, my beloveds. I will see you even sooner than that because I'm making you a special video uh, only available to my patrons over on Patreon uh, because they get to know more things because they're the ones paying the bills. <laughs> Alrighty, love you guys. I will see you very soon. Uh, have a great day, week, what have you. Um, yeah, until then, bye.